for the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. They will gather around great numbers to what their itching ears want to hear and what suits their desires as it was said, along the lines of something like that. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3 through 4. And that time is now. Basically, it started in the 80s, but more has it been more than ever that there have been many churches, many mega churches and mega churches that are speaking with certain pitches in their tongues that um that basically they are speaking doctrines that are heresy and speaking hypocrisy and to some extent yes speak against woke but are actually still supporting things that are antichrist when you hear people that speak in certain pitch tones, know that if they keep doing this more than one sermon, then you know to leave that church because that is their witchcraft to deceive a whole crowd, to sensationalize the congregation even to sensationalize themselves, they are all deceived, including the pastor, including the, the, I guess you can say the elders, because they want people to have a security that they are saved. We are being saved, not saved. Because if we are to say, I'm saved, I'm saved, but then to go to a protest, to then beat someone up and then find yourself assaulting a police officer to then what's to say grab his gun and then all these officers draw your gun draw their guns onto you and you end up dying and then you end up going to hell and you wonder what did i do god what did i do because you fell into the deception thinking you were saved that no that that no sin that you commit uh from former to present, to future, that God would cover your sins. That is a lie, you guys. We cannot walk around, waltzing around, thinking that we're eternally saved. Because if we sin, we choose to walk away from God. And that is the truth. In some cases, God will separate himself from you. Don't be like the churches that speak with certain pitches or speak in a certain pitch with a false authority like how some people can say i spoke with the by the power of the authority of the holy spirit to make it sound good to make your heart tingle somebody in my family said this and i'm not going to say what it was about to a degree because God is still working in their life but they said this and it made my heart tingle and I wondered what that meant and I never really understood nor did I have the words come to me but in time they did there's a video by Andrew Tyner and um Anthony, I can't think of his last name, but his YouTube channel is following the Good Shepherd and warning the people is obviously Andrew Tyner. And what um, Anthony mentioned was is that he came from a sales background for selling cars. And he said that when him and his wife, when they were starting to go to the Lord or wanting to start to follow Jesus, they knew that there was something wrong as if there was sort of a pitch of a sales because as a salesman you want to uh, to get that sale and to tingle the ears to make that sale to that customer i i believe i'm saying it sort of incorrectly but if you understand what i'm talking about you guys then you know what i'm talking about but anyways in the same way it's like 
this in the church in the masses. You have many churches that are going about to say you have to tithe or they will they will guilt you with very very kind words saying you need to tithe or you need to go to church to be fed and people think that when that you are uh, fed through the pastor that is a deception too because here's the thing you need to be fed by Jesus not by the pastor not by the Bible not by someone's words even and hey even a man of God or woman of God that truly follow Jesus cannot feed you so who can truly feed you Jesus can his words are eternal life and anything that proceeds out of the mouth of God is life his words are life and he is the word of God and I would dare someone say that no you have to be fed through the church or you have to have a relationship with Jesus Christ through the church and I had a family member tell me this one time and this was around the time when I came into the truth when major family calamities across state lines was going on and I thought man they are lost and I never said this in front of them but I said that literally in my mind and I just thought man they are lost but many people are lost that think this way. I was once like this to a degree, but eventually I changed because the thing was, you guys, is, is when I came into the truth, that was the time when the Lord decided for me to come into the truth. And it was my choice to come into the truth or not. I didn't go to my parents like in the past I did. I didn't go to the church. I actually grumbled and complained because all I was pleased with was sensational talk, pitch uh, preaching talk. And I literally thought that, man, what a good message, pastor. What a good message, youth pastor. And that's what I thought. I thought that um, when you like have a moment, like all I wanted in church was a moment so I can make myself think I could be filled with the Holy Spirit and I can brag about it. But I never got that chance and I'm pr and praise God that I never got that chance and that God didn't allow it. Even when I went to church willingly on my bike going up a hill and walking up a hill during the pandemic and I'm glad that I never had a sensational moment where I would show my faith before others because I'll tell you guys I was very very much a hypocrite deep in sin very much so and I'll just flat out tell you is yes there are times where I do stumble but that's no excuse for me and it's neither an excuse for you to anyone who hears and if we and just to plainly put it out you guys is this is a deception that has been going on for probably 40 or 60 years and back then there was probably churches that really did preach about god and about the word of god and there are a few churches out there that do tr that do preach the word of god by his spirit but few of those churches are dwindling every day Many are deceived thinking that um, that the that the Antichrist church hasn't happened yet and that that will only come when the seven year tribulation will happen. Guys, it's already here. The there are already tribulations going on, but those seven years haven't happened yet. So my question to you guys is are you just going to church to be sensationalized? Thinking that through that you can be fed by God? Or are you going to go to Jesus? To whether you feel good or feel bad. Whether you have a good day or a bad day. You're still going to follow Jesus no matter what. Whether it be many prayers in the day. Or just literally one prayer in the day. Saying and crying out God help me. May Jesus Christ bless you.